In this podcast episode, President Nayib Bukele of El Salvador discusses the remarkable transformation his country has undergone in just a few years. He highlights the fact that El Salvador was once known as the murder capital of the world, but has now become the safest country in the Western Hemisphere. This drastic change was achieved through a combination of factors, with the most crucial being the establishment of peace within the country. President Bukele emphasizes the importance of peace as the foundation for any progress in a society. Without peace, basic rights such as the right to live, move, and own property cannot be guaranteed. In the case of El Salvador, the country was plagued by gang violence, with MS-13 being one of the major criminal organizations responsible for the high murder rates. President Bukele and his administration took decisive action to tackle the issue, doubling the size of the army and equipping them to combat crime effectively. One of the key aspects that President Bukele attributes to the success of his administration is seeking God's wisdom. He mentions that winning the spiritual war reflected in the physical war against crime. The gangs in El Salvador, particularly MS-13, had evolved into a satanic organization, engaging in rituals and even human sacrifices. By acknowledging the spiritual aspect of the conflict, President Bukele believes that they were able to overcome seemingly insurmountable challenges. Despite the significant improvements in El Salvador's safety and security, President Bukele faces criticism and condemnation from various international organizations, including human rights groups. The decision to prioritize the safety and well-being of law-abiding citizens over the rights of criminals led to backlash from some quarters. However, he remained steadfast in his commitment to creating a safer environment for the people of El Salvador. With peace and safety established as the foundation, President Bukele outlines his plans for economic development in El Salvador. He mentions that seeking God's wisdom is the first step. This unconventional approach to economic planning reflects his belief in the importance of moral and spiritual guidance in decision-making. By focusing on the well-being of the people and seeking divine wisdom, he aims to continue the positive trajectory of El Salvador's transformation. President Bukele discusses the challenges faced by Western civilization, noting that the decline of democratic systems is a result of neglect and lack of maintenance. He argues that the incentives within democratic systems often lead politicians to prioritize short-term gains, such as winning elections, over the long-term health of the system. This focus on immediate gratification can result in policies that erode the foundations of democracy and lead to societal decay. President Bukele raises concerns about the erosion of democratic principles in Western societies, pointing to examples of wasteful spending and inefficiency in government projects. He highlights the need for a maintenance team to address these issues and prevent further degradation of democratic systems. He emphasizes that democracy itself is not the problem, but rather the state of democracies in the world today that require attention and reform. President Bukele emphasizes the importance of maintaining democratic structures and systems to prevent their decline. He draws parallels between the maintenance of infrastructure, such as buildings and bridges, and the maintenance of democratic institutions. He argues that without proper upkeep and attention, democratic systems will inevitably deteriorate, leading to societal decay and dysfunction. President Bukele raises questions about the future of Western civilization and the ability of its leaders to address the challenges facing democratic systems. He suggests that a lack of will to fix the system could result in further decline and erosion of democratic principles. He highlights the need for a concerted effort to address the root causes of societal decay and prevent the collapse of democratic institutions. President Bukele acknowledges the systemic failures in the U.S. and other countries, but believes that with the right leadership and resources, significant improvements can be made. He points out that the U.S. has vast resources, innovative capabilities, and a strong economy, making it well-equipped to address its challenges. He contrasts the situation in the U.S. with the struggles faced by El Salvador, where a third of the population fled the country due to various issues. President Bukele discusses the significance of elections as a tool for change and emphasizes the importance of securing a mandate through votes. 
He reflects on his own experience of winning a supermajority in Congress to enact reforms and remove obstacles to governance. He believes that leadership and public support are essential for driving meaningful change in a country. President Bukele addresses criticism from U.S. Congressman Jim McGovern regarding the relocation of a painting in El Salvador. He views the criticism as a form of colonialism and interference in the country's affairs. He emphasizes the importance of sovereignty and autonomy in decision-making, especially in matters of art and culture. He highlights the positive impact of Americans and Salvadoran immigrants returning to the country, contributing to economic growth and social development. President Bukele discusses the cooperation with other Latin American countries on security issues, jail systems, and military training. He shares insights into El Salvador's successful control of its jail system, which serves as a model for other countries facing similar challenges. He emphasizes the importance of collaboration and sharing best practices to address common threats and improve security measures in the region. President Bukele reflects on the role of faith in leadership and decision-making. He acknowledges that some leaders may turn to prayer in times of crisis or uncertainty. He emphasizes the importance of humility and seeking guidance from higher powers when faced with difficult decisions. He highlights the value of moral and ethical leadership in navigating complex challenges and inspiring positive change in society. President Bukele reveals his intention to serve as president for five years, in line with the constitutional limits in El Salvador. He expresses his commitment to continuing the transformation of the country and addressing ongoing challenges.